Let's get ourselves a little startup video, shall we? Oh yeah! Yeah! What up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another little in-car vlog type video. Um, so in this one, I'm going to be doing, I guess, a review on my clutch kit. That being a Stage 1 Clutch Master, uh, I believe a FX100 with their lightweight flywheel. I want to say it's about 17 pounds. Now, I've made a couple videos um, just, you know, going over a few of the parts that I have installed. So I figured I'd give, like, an in-depth review since I've been driving with this setup for about almost a year since, like, last... February so I guess not quite a year you know it's it's been good um, there's a few things that I really like about it and a few things that I really don't care for so I figured I'd just go over a few of those things now right off of the bat the lightweight flywheel um, the the stock flywheel on these G35s and 350Zs are a dual mass flywheel now what that means is there's two plates that spin and there's you know springs in between that kind of help I guess dampen some of the harsh vibrations you you would get when the clutch kicks in now with the lightweight flywheel it's a single mass flywheel so you're not gonna get as much of the uh, softer ride qualities that you're gonna get from a dual mass but it has its benefits. Now one of those benefits, let's say that you do need to get a clutch done, you cannot resurface a dual mass flywheel, which you can do with a single mass. One of the reasons that I went with the single mass flywheel and aftermarket clutch kit, now one of the other reasons is that it's a lot cheaper. Um, I mean, I would have probably had to pay double what I paid for this clutch kit to put in an OEM clutch kit. And in my personal opinion, I don't think an OEM clutch kit would have held up to the abuse quite as much as this clutch kit that I have has so far. Now, um, right off of the bat from a dead stop, the lightweight flywheel, you'll notice it revs a lot quicker. When you're at a light and you just blip the throttle, it revs really high, very fast. Now, something that I noticed didn't happen with the stock flywheel as well. When you're doing like downshifting and trying to rev match, you'll notice that with this lightweight flywheel, it definitely uh, revs a lot quicker. Now, one thing that I will say about the stage one, we're just gonna get to a dead stop, is that when you're coming off of a dead stop like we are right now shifting that was kind of smooth but the shifts unless you are really paying attention it's very easy to have a sloppy shift or a sloppy launch even stall the car out now i've had this car since the beginning of last february so i got the clutch i guess would have been shortly after so i've had the car since last february in all honesty I can get in this thing sometimes and it's like having to learn the car for the first time uh, just you know it's it's very tricky and the stage one clutch definitely doesn't help now I will say this though when you're hammering on it like let's say I'm going to do a launch two three thousand rpms that clutch is grabbing like no problem do a little here onto the highway. Woo! It just grabs, you know, there's no, not any, gonna be any slipping. And I do some mild track racing, as you guys may know. I'm always doing stuff like that in my daily travels. So for me, an aftermar uh, aftermarket clutch kit just made sense. Now, as a lot of you guys may know, there's, you know, we've been toying with the idea of boost possibly a little bit of nitrous so again this clutch kit cheaper and also gonna withstand a lot more abuse than let's say a stock clutch kit now one thing you are gonna have to I'm not really gonna say worry about but take note of with an aftermarket clutch kit 
because you're getting rid of your dual mast flywheel, you are gonna get what's called clutch chatter. Now what's clutch chatter? I'm gonna just put a couple clips in here and I'm gonna show you guys and explain what it is afterwards. Basically what you're hearing there uh, with the stock single mass flywheel is that when you let off the clutch, the, cl the clutch is actually bouncing off of the flywheel and you're not going to get that with a dual mass because it has kind of the two plates with the springs which acts sort of as a, I want to say a cushion, I'm, I can't really come up with the proper term for it, but it definitely helps with that. And that's really the only downside that I can say. Let's say you're cruising at like in second gear at like 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers, which is about 20 miles an hour um, for you folks out there in America. And um, yeah, I mean, that's really the only time you're going to notice it or when you're taking off from a light and it's really quiet. Now, sometimes you can get a little bit of clutch chatter when you let out the clutch. Um, which I tried to get a clip of. I'm gonna see if I can insert it here. You can sorta of hear when I push in the clutch that there's a slight chatter. Um, to be honest, it was a lot worse when I first got this setup installed, but as it, the clutch broke in, it got a lot better. But I mean, really, that's the only downside that I can say. Like, obviously, the quick revving uh, is a, a positive, but really, the only downside is that clutch chatter. Other than that, for daily driving, I'd say it's totally doable. Um, like I say, the, the catching point is very fine, though, on here, so there's a little bit more room for error than you would find on, let's say, a stock clutch setup. But because of the fact that the single mass flywheel can be machined and um, reused, so that'll save you some money. So yeah, I definitely recommend a stage one clutch kit. Now when you start getting into like stage two, stage three, that's when I feel like the, uh, you know, the finickiness and the fineness of where you need to release that clutch is definitely gonna come more, become more of a factor. But as far as stage one goes, it's totally doable. I'm in love with this with this kit, and I have put a lot of beating on this. Now, I pretty much, when I got this car, was my very first stick shift car that I had ever owned. So I pretty much learned how to drive stick on this car and this clutch kit. So like, I've abused it. I've taken it out racing. I, you know, I've done some really crappy shifts or launches on hills I've put this thing through quite a bit and it still grabs perfectly like it did the day that well I guess not the day that I got it but maybe the the week after I had uh, broken it in because when I first installed it I'm not gonna lie there was quite a bit of slip but that's normal for any clutch kit so yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've touched pretty much everything that I wanted to touch on in this video. So if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, we haven't really done a lot of these in-car vlogs lately. It's been more install videos, and I guess the track vlog video is a in-car video. Well, let me know if you guys want to see more of these uh, videos of me just talking smack in the car. Uh, you know, drop some questions down in the comments. And uh, yeah, man, we'll do our best to answer those. So I'm just about home for the afternoon. Just got off of work. I need to clean this car because it's absolutely disgusting. It hasn't been washed for about a week. So yeah, I'm probably going to put an end to this one for real, for real. Um, as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. That's about it, man. I am your boy, Dean Ali, a.k.a. Don Squally. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man.